Now, it may strike you as a little surprising, but in astronomy, we actually have to deal with really, really small numbers as well as big ones. And uh, here are a couple examples. Uh, this number up here, I don't even know how to pronounce this um, without using scientific notation. Um, but that is the mass in kilograms of a single electron. It's not exactly that. It's, it's rounded. Um, this number here is the number of seconds, or fractions of a second, I should really say, uh, that it takes a radio wave to travel from New York City to Los Angeles. I just did a little calculation for that. And uh, this number here in meters is the wavelength of green light, uh, the middle of the visible part of the spectrum that our eyes, our human eyes, can see. Um, when you think of a, a wave here, that is called from one peak of the wave to the next peak of the wave is called the wavelength. And in the case of green light, it's that many meters. And so here are just a couple examples of small numbers that we have to deal with in astronomy. And so how do we write small numbers in scientific notation? So just to review real quick um, exponents again, um, if we have uh, x to the power of negative n, what that means is 1 over x to the power of n. So for instance, 10 to the power of negative 2, for example, means 1 over 10 to the 2, which is 1 over 100, which is 0 0.01. And I've run off a little bit here. So let me rewrite that, 0 0.01. 0 0.01. And uh, so that's what a negative exponent means. Instead of making it big, it makes it smaller um, because it's 1 over. It's the reciprocal of, uh, of the number. And so um, uh, 10 to the negative 2 is 0 0.01. So if we come up here and we take a look at the time it takes for a light uh, or a radio wave uh, to travel from New York City to, uh, to Los Angeles, um, this is 0 0.013, this is 0 0.01, and so we can write this as 1.3 times 10 to the negative 2. In other words, it's 1.3 times bigger than this. And um, so you can think of it as taking the 1.3 and moving the decimal point two places to the left. A negative exponent, you're moving the decimal point to the left. And so 1.3 times 10 to the negative 2 seconds. Now, it's, it's just as easy to write 0 0.013 seconds. Um, but when we get more and more zeros, smaller and smaller numbers, then we really see the benefit of having scientific notation. So let's go ahead and count the decimal places here. Um, if I want to move the decimal place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, to bring it over here between the, the, the 5 and the 5, this becomes 5.5 .5 times 10 to the negative 7 meters as being the wavelength of green light. And uh, like before, the, the last one I'm going to leave as an exercise for you, the mass in kilograms of a single electron. Can you write that? in scientific notation. So count up those zeros, be very, very careful, and um, go ahead and uh, check, your, check your answer in the comments below or talk to, uh, to, talk to a friend.